all right we have added some demo data in the database now i want to show this data on our website front end okay so currently we have these two employees right i want to show these two employees on my front end okay when i said front end this is what i meant okay so you can simply click on this uh, view site here so that it will take you to the front end so this is the home page right so here we can actually list down all the employees that we have in the database okay so to bring out all the data from the database we should actually write a function okay so let's go to the home function okay i'm choosing home function because see where we want the data to be printed right on the home page right so that's why i'm choosing home function to write the function okay so for example we have like five pages home contact about us pages and all so wherever you want to print the data just choose that function to write the logic okay currently i want to print the data on the home page so that's why i'm choosing home function to write the logic all right so how to write the logic now okay so now what i want just imagine we need the list of employees that are stored in the database okay so when i said list of employees that means the employees are stored inside this employee class employee table right so now what i'll do i'll go inside this employee table okay so how will i go i'll simply say employee okay employee dot objects employee dot objects so inside the employee class we have something called objects so this object is actually given by django so we have one very important topic called orm object relational mapping okay so currently you don't have to understand all that okay so i'll explain what is object relational mapping and how it works in the later stages of this course but just know that whenever we want to fetch the data from a model okay we first go inside the model and that model will have the objects okay and then we actually put the query so we need all the data uh, that are inside this uh, employee uh, table okay so currently i am putting this all function okay so if you have some uh, conditions then you can put get or filter or something like that okay but let's go one by one we just want to take out all the data from the employee table so that's why i'm calling this all function all right now whatever this query will give will store inside employees variable employees okay employees is equal to employee dot objects dot all all right so this is how we query uh, when we want to fetch all the uh, data from the table okay now we have the warning um this model uh, we have not imported okay so that's why what we need to do we need to actually uh, say from employees right from employees from employees dot which module uh, we have the uh, employee uh, you know employee model yeah, from employees dot models okay from employees dot models import the model name that is employee all right now we don't have any errors i mean warnings okay now when we run this home function what will happen uh, this query will trigger and uh, whatever result uh, this query will be stored inside the employees variable now let's print this employees variable and see what is inside it now let's try to run this uh, uh, function how to run the function of course this is the home page right so if you refresh this page that means our home function will run okay so now uh, you can see in the terminal uh, this has given us the query set the employee one is ratan and then we have uh, john okay if you have more data then it, it will print uh, more data here okay so this is how we print the output all right now i don't want to print the employees on the terminal i just want to print all of these employees on the front end okay so for that reason what i'll do is i just want to send these employees into my home.html why home.html because that is what is uh, printing the html content right so that's why we need to send this uh, employees to the home.html so what i'll do is i will make use of this context dictionary 
a context dictionary so we create one blank dictionary and put the employees inside this context dictionary as a key okay and colon pass the value okay so this key should be actually inside the single quotation or double quotation and this will be our actual output all right and put one comma here now we have the context and now we want to pass that context inside the home.html this is how we pass it okay after this home.html just put a comma and pass the context dictionary as it is all right now save the file when we pass context dictionary into any html a template we will have the access to this employees or whatever the uh, context we are passing will be uh, available inside a home.html all right now let's see what if i print the employees here okay i'll simply print employees so why i'm using this double curly braces i'll tell you in a while okay so this is how we print it let's print this employees data so refresh okay now you can see query set employee ratan employee john all right so this is actually printing uh, on the front end right but you know what we don't want to print uh, this way we want to print ratan and uh, in the next line we want to print another name and in the next line we want to print okay you know this is actually not a readable content okay so that's why we want to print properly so when we have this kind of a query set we have multiple data right inside the query set so that's why what we do is we usually use the for loop okay we want to loop through the employees okay, inside the employee we have so many employees right this is how we use for loop for i or for m employee in employees or whatever you can call okay? for i in employees okay, for uh, i in employees and when you open the for loop of course you will have to print this for loop okay so you see this i am using a curly braces and percentage symbol and then we are using for i in employees and then again we are closing the for loop with the percentage and closing uh, curly braces okay so this is how we write the for loop okay uh, once we are inside the for loop we want to print the i okay how do you print this is how we print okay, double curly braces i okay i will explain what is this uh, uh, curly braces and percentage and i'll also explain what is this uh, double curly braces but just know that uh, this is how we loop through the uh, data and this is how you print the variable okay now let's uh, refresh okay now you can see ratan and john now if i want to put this i inside h4 tag okay simply put this here now you can refresh the page now you see ratan and john okay if you have more data it will keep on printing like that all right now i want you to uh, have a, a very closer look at this uh, curly braces and percentage okay so this is actually called the template tags these tags are a way of telling django that uh, here comes something else than a plain html if we have plain html what we do we simply write the html tags but what if we want to write some python code or the logic uh, inside the html template that's when we use these template tags okay so in this example we want to loop through some data right or sometimes we may want to uh, put an if else condition inside the template we can use these uh, template tags okay so this is actually the template tags and then this uh, double curly braces okay so these are also a part of uh, uh, django template language we call it as a template variable all right so this is the template tags and this is the template variable okay these template variables are used to print the python variables inside the html template all right so that is what the difference between these uh, curly braces and percentage and double curly braces okay this is the template tags and this is the template variable
okay we also have something called a template filter but don't worry don't try to understand everything in one go okay when we make bigger projects you will explore all of these technical features all right so this is actually how we print the data and uh, yeah but uh, of course we don't want to print like this we want to uh, put the data properly in the table all right so we will put this data inside the table in the next video